First reading. Adrian Rudraford. Um, sir, as my um, colleagues have said, uh, Labor will not be supporting the Education, Tertiary Education and Other Matters Amendment Bill. Um, sir, I've been in this parliament for um, over two and a half years, and in that time I think I have spoken on uh, five education bills, and this is, the, this is my fifth one. Um, You're doing and, really well, Adrian. And, and I thought I would just reflect on what some of the commonalities between them, because there, there are some, and I wanted to do that to highlight one particular fact uh, um, in, in my uh, um, uh, assessment of this uh, piece of legislation, and that is that this, uh, uh, this bill, and it's only a, a, a small bill, not as big as some of the others, um, but it reinforces there are parts of this, like the other uh, bills that I've spoken on in this House, that reinforce the privatisation model that the government is um, hell-bent on pursuing, without actually coming out and being honest and saying it. And I think uh, and, uh, uh, I look forward to the submissions on this, because uh, some of the submissions, I think it was on the, yes, on the education update bill actually highlighted that fact, and they explicitly said, and that was from uh, the New Zealand um, Principals Council. Uh, so I look forward to their uh, submission on this, along with others. Um, Sarah, so on one bill, the previous speaker um, uh, uh, said that uh, children should be fit for purpose. Uh, uh, that was uh, the, uh, Todd Muller. Uh, in his contribution uh, to the uh, education update bill. I think it was a slip of the tongue, because surely, surely that could not be the position of the national government. Surely it couldn't be. Although, if it was, it would give us some insight into their thinking about constructing these types of bills. And uh, coming to th that very fact, uh, in this bill, as my colleagues have, have mentioned, there are some things that are, uh, are good and there are some things that are not so good. And I, I want to address uh, the ability for wānanga to be able to um, uh, use the uh, title within a descriptive way uh, that they are an Indigenous university. Uh, and uh, I think uh, as... Um, my colleagues on this side, we're open to that discussion. I think uh, I am a, I'm very familiar with the uh, arguments around that. Um, uh, having, um, uh, uh, having spoken to uh, a number of the wānanga uh, and um, the challenges that they face in uh, being recognised for the level of education that they deliver, so I, th I think that's a good discussion to have. Um, Sir, so I, I look forward uh, to those submissions, and uh, as I've mentioned in uh, uh, the Education Update Bill uh, today, um, I want to hear the voice of young people, uh, the young people that uh, um, need to have their voice heard on this, uh, or, and uh, <coughs> at Select Committee uh, uh, only yesterday we were discussing and looking at um, reports around um, Māori and Pacifica education achievement. I want to hear that. I think it's critically important uh, that the select committee not only hear uh, the voice, those voices, that we actually listen to them as well. Uh, and so, so I add my... Um, um, my voice to uh, that process. I, I, I agree. One thing I do agree with um, um, Todd Muller is that um, we need to work collectively and collaboratively uh, to make sure that this is the best piece of legislation that it can be. Uh, and I look forward to that process. Kia ora. My, my highly audible friend, Andrew Bailey. Thank